lesson. This is under this is understanding the place value chart. Okay, we went over that today. This is in uh, Eureka Math Module One, uh, Lesson Three, Grade Four. Okay, so let's take a look. So. You will see here, I'm just gonna give you one example. We did a bunch of these in class, but I just wanna uh, walk you through um, one of these examples. So you can see here, let me get our pen working. We have 24 10 thousands plus 11 thousands, okay? So what kind of form is this written in, All right? Is this word form, standard form, or expanded form? or is this unit form, okay? This is actually unit form, okay? So when they're telling you how many of a certain place value we have, it's written in unit form. So our goal is going to be, we wanna turn this unit form into standard form, all right? I never know which one, so we're gonna go, that's not the right, <laughs> that's not the right marker. I apologize, I think it's here. Okay, so here is, yes, standard, standard form. All right, we're going to try to find it and put it right in here. All right, so 24 ten thousands plus 11 thousands. All right, so our 24 ten thousands, here's our place value chart. We have our ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands hundred thousands, and millions, okay? So I am going to, let's take out another color. Let's, uh, let's go green here. 24 ten thousands. I'm going to go into my ten thousands column. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So there is my 24 ten thousands, okay? And I have 11 thousands. So I'm going to put in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There is my 11 thousands, okay? So now I'm gonna see how can I, this is now written out and shown in unit form, how can I put this in standard form? Well, the first thing we know is that in each place value that we have, let's see how many we have, okay? So each of these disks equals in here, 1,000, another 1,000, and over here, those are equal to 10,000 based on what your place value is on top of your chart. We know bundling. You could bundle 10, all right? So you could bundle 10 in each column of whatever unit they are and exchange it, all right, or move it to the next bigger place value. So with that being said, I'm going to go to red and say, in my thousands, I have 10. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Those are ten thousands that I'm going to bundle. I'm going to bundle them, cross it out, and I'm going to exchange that for now with ten thousand. That's another ten thousand. So I'm left with one in the thousands place. Now I move into my ten thousands column. Let's see what bundling I can do here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's one bundle. I could exchange that for a hundred thousand. Here's another bundle. Exchange that for another hundred thousand. All right. And then I don't have enough to do any bun any more bundling. So I'm left with oh, this pen. I'm left with five ten thousands. So now we look, I have two hundred thousands, five ten thousands, and one thousand. All right? And then I have no hundreds, no tens, no ones. 
and I put my comma in, one, two, three, comma. And I could write up here, 251,000. So that is how we could look at a unit form up here, plug that into our place value chart, then do your bundling. And if you need to exchange it for a disk in a greater place value, and then you just look at how many you have in each place value. That's what digit you're going to put. I like to write the numbers underneath the columns. And then if we have nothing, nothing, and nothing, you put your zeros. Because if you don't put these three zeros, you're left with just 251, which would be wrong. All right? So I hope this quick video helped on understanding the place value chart. This sums up um, what you were doing in the problem set in uh, module one, lesson three, and this is fourth grade. All right? Thank you. Make sure to give me a follow.